Let's walk through how to install our template file. I'm going to download the mill cam template. It's an F3D file. So I'll click save and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Hop into Fusion and I recommend you create a template project. So you would click new project. I've already got one, so I'll pop it open called templates upload. And let's go pick that file. And here's the reason. The key to using templates is being able to modify and update them as you see fit. We modify ours very frequently and we will continue to post the newest version on the NYCCNC website. Let's pop that file open and I'll show you what I mean. So by having a file, in this case just this widget or part, I have all my various templates as CAM setups or CAM operations here. So let's say we're running a Tormach 770 steel and this is our what we want to be the template. Left click once on the face, hold down your shift key and click on the last operation. That selects all of them. I'll now right click, store as template and I'm going to call it 770 steel. Click OK. You're done. You've now just published that template. So if we hop into a new file and we create an object We can go into CAM, create a new setup, right click, create from template, and we can use the 770 steel that I just made. And if you expand that arrow, you can see there are all my operations. The great thing about the template is it remembers all those pesky little settings. Like in my 3D adaptive, I prefer to always have flat area detection checked. Awesome. The problem with templates, if you don't do it this way, is that let's say I publish this template and I realize, you know what, in my 3D adaptive, I would really rather change that optimal load to 625. Well, don't change it here in your part. You need to go back to your master template file, change it here, change our adaptive from say 0.05 to 0.06. I'm not going to do it because I like 0.05, but you would then click OK and then you would republish that template or re-push it out. So I'll say source template. They need to create an update option here that you can pick your existing file because right now you need to remember what it was named. I remember it was 770 steel with no spaces. And because I remember that name, when I click OK, it's going to ask me to overwrite it. But again, doing this gives you a master file that you can go back to and you can continuously tweak and update and re-push out those templates.